Hey everyone, I wanted to go over an electric fence as a deterrent for your bee yard and maybe go through some of the details. Might be able to help you out before I do anything. When I set up a new apiary, I always set up the bare fence first as a deterrent before I move any bees in or bring in any supplies. There's a saying uh, here in Pennsylvania, you either have a bear fence or a deterrent or you're gonna have a bear problem. <laughs> so uh, let's go over the details here today and hopefully this helps you out. I wanna let you know that this is modeled after a publicly available resource the Alaska Department of Fish and Game have a lot of good information on their website for bear deterrence and backpack, backpacking in the wild and how to keep your food away from bears. So let's go through some of the details here today. Let's go ahead and start off with the Energizer. I have the Energizer fence electric fence and energizer inside a old hive body on a stand it's really important to keep that this on the inside of your perimeter bears are very curious and they will knock it over if it's on the outside so make sure you keep it on the inside At my home apiary, I have a Gallagher B180 and it's hooked up to a battery. The battery is charged through a solar panel and then the solar panel comes in to the box. And I have a solar charger controller it just makes sure make sure the battery does not get overcharged and that's the general setup here and then I have both the positive and the negative wires they come out of the box here and we'll start with the ground. That's uh, the most important. This is the ground rod, ground wire coming out. It's hooked up to this line here. And then we go ahead and jump down hooked up to this and then from here it goes outside to the ground rods I have three of them they're spaced about 10 feet apart 10 to 15 feet apart and they go through the woods there and yeah so Make sure you have good ground. That's one of the most important parts of an electric fence. And we'll go ahead and go through the line spacing and how I have this set up here. Might be able to help you out. So on the bottom here, We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. The bottom line is always hot. Then this one is neutral. Then this one is hot. Neutral. Hot. And then as the rest, the remaining ones are all positive or hot lines. 
And then as far as spacing, the bottom line, which is hot, is about four inches off the ground. And then probably three inches up to the neutral, three inches up to the next positive line. And then we have about a four inch gap and we have a positive. Oh, excuse me, no. This is a ground. This is a positive, positive, and positive hot line. So basically what we're doing is we're just alternating the bottom lines as we go up from hot to neutral to hot to neutral to hot and then the remaining are all positive lines. Try to back up here so you get a better idea of what's going on. The bottom line when you're designing your uh, fence is always going to be hot. Next one up is ground. Next one up from that is hot. Next one up from that is ground. Next one up from that is hot. And then the remaining ones going up are all the positive or hot wires. The reason for alternating the hot and the ground on the lower lines is to help out with uh, animals trying to push through the fence. Basically, if they touch both of those lines or push those lines together, they get the full charge or the full impact. Um, you don't have to worry about the animal having to ground through their feet and returning, you know, back to the energizer. And that really, really helps out. And on the gate, I'm just using simple gate handles here. They have a spring in them, so they can be pulled a little bit, but it's pretty nice. And then on the outside, right here, I have a switch. And this just helps me from getting shocked mainly. <laughs> so it helps you. You don't have to remember if if the energizer's on or not. You always turn it on and off from the outside and it really helps out. So how this is wired up is this line here is directly connected to the energizer. And then off of that, this line here is past the switch and then it's powering the lines from the top down. Well, I hope that helped everyone out if you're trying to build a bare fence. One of the things you want to keep in mind is bears are always searching for food. And it's best to not let the bears find the beehives because it's, it's going to be a lot harder to keep them out once they've discovered the food. And it's best to get this done from the start. Have a great day. If anyone has any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. This is uh, just a, a, a general video to help people out if they're looking to design a fence to keep bears out of their apiary. Take care. See you next time.